Hello friends and welcome back. Today I have in my hands here a gorgeous ESP LTD M1000 multi-scale. And uh, all I can say is don't fear the multi-scale. These things may look intimidating. You may have seen them only in the hands of seven and eight string young metal players who are shredding like crazy. I'm going to tell you some things about just this neck and the feel of this in a little bit that I think is going to surprise you. But first of all, let's get into this gorgeous guitar. Uh, this was kind of their six string version that came out later of the original M1007 and M1008 that was their seven and eight string versions of the multi-scale. Um, and really what this is, we've got a 26 and a half inch scale on the low E string that transforms to a 25 and a half inch scale on the high E string. And there's so many benefits to this. I mean, everything from uh, being able to get a higher string tension on your low strings so they stay really tight, they never get flubby, um, and ergonomically, I'll get into that later. Let's talk about this. Okay, we have a beautiful mahogany body on here, extremely lightweight, but it's not neck heavy. Uh, and we also have a beautiful flame maple drop top on here. Uh, and if you're not familiar with drop top, it's something that you see on some of the higher end guitars where instead of, you know, just throwing a maple cap on a guitar and then either, you know, sanding it or carving it out, this is actually bent to the contour. I hope you can see this here. It's bent to the contour of the body. And what this does is it maintains the integrity of the grain so you don't get any of, you know, fall off in this beautiful flame pattern whenever it hits the upper arm contour over here. It's just a really nice addition and I think this is just a gorgeous guitar overall. Um, but anyway, uh, neck on here, we have a five piece maple and purple heartwood, which is something I'm not really familiar with, but uh, the purple heartwood are some of the reinforcing strips that are in the middle here. It's a beautiful wood, can't talk about it tonally or anything like that, uh, but it's a great feeling neck overall. And um, the fretboard radius, as a lot of the LTDs are, it's a 350 millimeter fretboard radius. Uh, it's a Macassar ebony fretboard and uh, to convert it, it's about 13 and three quarters. So it's a fairly flat fretboard, uh, just gorgeous Macassar ebony on here. It feels great. Uh, as usual on these LTDs in this price range. Uh, excellent fret job on here. I mean, it's just smooth and neck feels great on it. Um, one thing I will say, these are extra jumbo frets on here and they are tall. They're very tall frets. Uh, and for me, I play with a bit of a lighter touch. So that's a plus for me. I love the way you can just glide over these. If you're used to low frets, uh, it may take you a minute to get used to them, but I think you will like them after you check them out. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, up top, LTD locking tuners that we've seen on a lot of the LTDs that I've demoed here. Uh, great, they, they are the locking pin style tuners with the knobs on the back, really like that. Um, a black bone nut on here. It has the hip shot multi-scale string through bridge on the back. Uh, and so, you know, you can see that it is designed and machined to properly intonate a multi-scale guitar. Um, and then the sound of this, which is, you know, pretty astounding too, the pickups in here. Uh, Seymour Duncan pickups, we have a Nazgul, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with in the bridge position down here. Uh, we've got a Sentient, Seymour Duncan Sentient in the neck. Uh, and both of these were custom made for ESP uh, with the slanted design so that the pole pieces remain aligned over a multi-scale neck. Just, you know, really killer. The, the pickup selection that they used in here, at first it was a little bit surprising. Um, I'm, I don't have any guitars with Nazgul's. I usually am not into that 
hot of pickups. But the fact that they chose a vintage output neck pickup here, the Sentient, uh, just very, very cool. Let me hit it just a couple of times on a high gain sound so you can see how well it holds up here. I mean, complex chords, even at high gain, this just holds up and you hear every note in it. Um, let's take a quick listen to this on a cleaner sound here because it really shines on that as well. I mean, <laughs> that's nice. To put that pickup in a heavy metal guitar, that's just an extra bonus to me. Okay, and of course, uh, we know that the Nazgul is just pure fire breathing. Uh, it, lots of aggression, high mids. You know what this sound is, I'm sure. But uh, it's just great for, you know, that tuned down riffage. And even though this is tuned to, you know, a standard E. <laughs> and really just bite through and retain clarity, even up the neck on the lower strings. It's the Nazgul sound. Now, when we clean it up, that's a bad way to phrase it because the Nazgul is just not going to clean up. But we have a coil split, push-pull coil split on the tone knob here. Now check this out. This really surprised me out of a Nazgul. That is a very fat, usable tone for a bridge single coil. It just kind of blew my mind on it. I've never heard a Nazgul coil split before. Um, the Sentient sounds great coil split as well. I mean, just loads of versatility out of this guitar. And it is beautiful. And now, I gotta tell you a little bit about what I think about this neck. We've had a few seven and eight strings come through here with the multi-scale neck on them. And in my mind, I thought, this is a gimmick. I can kind of see it. The, the players who were using them were very flashy, you know, shredders. But after getting this in my hands, and one thing I've, I'm going to fill you in on a secret here. Even though the rumor has it that I'm 29 years old, I'm actually a couple of months away from turning 62. These hands have been through heck. Heck, I tell you, over the past six decades. I've got arthritis happening. I've got tendon stuff going on in my wrists. Um, it's, I can't play as long as I used to. That's just the way it is. Hopefully that you all won't ever run into that, but prepare yourselves. If I had had a multi-scale neck in my younger days, I may not be having some of the issues that I am right now. This is such a joy to play, and I want to just talk about the ergonomics of this for a minute. Playing high up on the neck, the, the wrist rotation that you have to use on a standard guitar, because these frets would be going straight across like my finger here. When you play high up on the neck, you've got a very awkward wrist rotation. Whether you're seated, whether you're standing, it's just there. Down here, it's the same thing. You're, it's just not in the natural position where your wrist would fall if you held it up here. 
This guitar is totally different. No matter where you go on the neck, you don't rotate your wrist. Everything is right there where you want it. I mean, I just, this is such a joy to play. And I'm gonna put out a request. You big three manufacturers, whose guitars I all love, and I do love every ESP LTD that I've played as well, but consider multi-scale necks. You may have a lot of your players who end up being able to play a lot longer if you give them something that is a little bit more ergonomic than a typical, typical guitar neck. I mean, I, I'm even, I do a lot of five fret stretches on the low strings. Going to 26 and a half inch scale doesn't bother me one bit. It actually feels much better because of the position my wrist is in. I, I cannot tell you how much I'm digging this and how much I would love to take this guitar home with me. Uh, but anyway, that is my rant about multi-scale and getting older. Do not let multi-scale guitars be wasted on the young. You older guys out there, get your hands on these. Check them out. It's just, it is such a joy. But anyway, if you've got questions about this gorgeous guitar, any guitar amp pedal that you could think of, give the guys here at More Guitars a call or visit us at More Music in Evansville, Indiana. These guys are the experts on every brand they sell and it is their mission to hook you up with the perfect gear for your playing needs. So give them a call. Follow us on social media, Facebook. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube and go to our website, sign up for our daily newsletter because holidays are coming up. We've got some big deals that we cannot advertise and you're not gonna hear about them if you're not on our mailing list. So go there and sign up. Until next time, y'all have a great day. Stay safe, rock on, play as much as you can and check out a multi-scale guitar. See you next time.